me. We Are Monster is set in a prison, but I wouldn't call it a prison film. I mm -hmm. want to know, um, how did you go about filming on location? Was it on location or on set? Um, we built, um, well, we shot half of it um, at location, but not a prison. We, we shot it at an, an old abandoned hospital in Portsmouth, an old military hospital. Uh, that was the canteen, the, the, um, the guard's office, some of the long corridors, um, the mess room and the yard and then we built um, the cell and the corridor outside the cell we built at Twickenham Film Studios. Um, structure wise the film like I said doesn't feel like a typical genre film. Mm. Um, what was your thinking behind making it the way you did? Um, I mean I, I, the, the prison I mean the main, the main thing was the, was the story and what happened and um, the prison was just a backdrop for me and um, from early on, speaking with Leishan when he was writing the script, that's what, that's what we decided and that's the route I kind of followed. That's mm. the reason, really. And I really wanted to make it more about the relationship between the alter ego and, and, and Robert. This, this film uh, about Zayd and Barak as well. Um, what was, how did you go about creating the two characters on screen that we see, Robert and, and Zayd? Um, well, I didn't, I didn't want um, the actors to meet each other. So I wanted the, the, the initial meeting to be when they first meet each other in the cells and to kind of get get that fear. And um, it was quite, it, I think it was difficult for both of the actors because they're both really nice guys and I, they, I knew that they'd get on. Um, but and it was, uh, but they, they believed in, in, in the philosophy behind it. And then, and then um, after they met, um, you know, obviously after that first meeting, I, I, to be honest, I actually wanted it to continue through the whole of the shoot, but they couldn't, especially Leishon, and, and they had a little hug and, and they, yeah, and after that it was fine. So that initial thing gave, kind of, for me, worked and then it, it continued working. I would have liked it to, I would have liked to not to speak for the whole of the shoot if I could, but I couldn't do it. I mean, in terms of, off the back of that, the atmosphere on set, what was it like? Because obviously it's a true story, there must have been a lot of... It was hard, it was hard. For me, for me, um, the shoot was the hardest part of... of of the whole process, um, the development idea I loved, um, the post production I loved, the the actual shoot. I think because of the true, one of the aspects of it was because of the true story element to it, and that you had to, I always had to be in the back of my mind on the horrific thing that happened, and um, it was tough because of that reason. Also, there was it was only eighteen days to shoot it, so I had no time for error and no time to have fun, and um, it was a tough, you know. I had a few hours sleep every night, and it was it was tough on set. I had to be alert from start to finish, and it was it was difficult because I normally drift off on things. I'm that kind of person, but but um, yeah, it was tough. You mentioned how tough it was. Did it affect you off screen as well, like when you were away from filming? Um, yeah, because I tend to take uh, yeah, you take things like this home with you, and and um, I was constantly thinking about it, and and yeah, I mean you have to constantly remind yourself about the uh, the murder and what happened and what's and and that there's no there's there was no respite for me for that for that reason um yeah it was tough it was tough in terms of the medium of film do you think it's it, it's one of the few avenues that is available to tell stories like this yeah um i mean there's been a play in the past as well what were the differences between the two the play and the, and the film. film. Um, the play, I think, I think it, it was Gladiator Games, and it was about the court case. Um, and this was more about the the process of what what makes a monster, what what causes someone or or to get to the point of committing a, ra a racially motivated murder. So I think that's the diff that's the difference between theatre uh, film. You can manipulate more. Um, and you can set things up. I think with theatre, it's it's there and you're watching it live. So there's no there's no real um, there's no kind of you can't you can't make any mistakes. There's no you you can you can cre obviously you can create an alter ego and it can be played by the same character. Whereas um, with with the theatre, I would have had to have got two actors. And I th I think um, because of that reason, it's more believable played by the same person um, 
yeah, I think that's that's probably the difference. If if I had to shoot this as a theatre production, and yeah, I guess that's that's the difference. Mm -hmm. It was filmed a while ago. Now, has how has the process been for you since then? Um, it feels like it's been non-stop. I I I can't. I I don't realise there's been. I think it's two years. I don't think it doesn't feel like there's been two years. It feels like I I we were in pre-production a week ago because it's there's constantly stuff that we're doing on it is, and we're still doing on it like today's so to uh, and, and what were your expectations for the film's release and what, what kind of message do you want audiences to take away from it? I, I guess that we want to want to bring the, the story back into the pu input into public awareness and um, and where we want to support uh, the, um, the foundation and um, and we, you know, we want it, we don't want this story to die because it has it has taken a back seat and it and it did make um, front front news headlines and it's kind of quickly been forgotten. So ultimately, I want this um, this story to be back in in public awareness and and also to kind of um, put me and Leash on on the map as well um, as producers, directors, actors. What your influences are like some of your favourite directors and some um, of your films as well. Directors, I like, you know, the greats like Kubrick, uh, Hitchcock, um, Eastwood. Um, modern guys, I like um, Steve McQueen. Um, yeah, I guess um, I haven't got one favourite director. I guess maybe Hitchcock, cause just because um, most of the stuff he, he did were, was great and he was quite um, revolutionary and, and um, he's he was using techniques that people are using now and, and, and they, they still stand up um, but yeah I guess yeah I guess he's my favorite but then I I, I the rest of you know I like I like a lot of, lot of different genres and styles was, was there a shot in it that because I thought there was a shot that reminded me of hunger quite a lot was there a couple of shots in there um, yeah. I, I hunger was an influence for us with in terms of a prison type movie um, I wanted to avoid um, Things like Scum and um, Offender, and not not that they're not good films, but um, I, this this is this wasn't a prison uh, one of those prison films. This was more about the murder and 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 the and the conflict between you know Walter Ego and Stuart. Um, but Hunger was, I mean, I watched, I didn't watch those uh, um, your Scums and Offenders and stuff like that. I, but I did watch films like Hunger and Shawshank Redemption and 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 um, um, even Escape to Victory. No. Um, yeah, films like that, because I wanted to pick the bits that I, I liked and and um, and because a lot of th those films were more about relationships and 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 um, and causes, I guess. Um, and were there any shots that I picked from Hunger? Maybe the bit when Shah's smoking outside, but it's not the same shot. But it, I wanted to get that. That when I when I when I watched Hunger and I watched that scene, it, it it stuck in my in my mind a lot, and I think you know the the prison guard was thinking about what he's going to do or what he had done, and I and I think Shah was thinking about what he could have done after that meeting, and that was for that reason. And finally, what have you got lined up next? Is it something completely different, or are you still um, looking to make films with a, a strong moral conscience? Um, ideally, uh, you know, st strong, but. Um, you never know, really. There's a f we've got a few um, scripts floating around. Nishan's got a few that he's written as well, so I can't really talk too much about them. But um, I definitely want to work uh, with Leash again, um, and hopefully um, something a little bit bigger and maybe even a bit light, a little bit more light-hearted. I don't know. We'll sure. See. Excellent. Thank you. Cool. Cheers.